the series where I just do first reads. I don't have anything brilliant here to add. I just read through what's there for the initial joy of the poem. I don't know if anybody else is interested in this besides me. It was just fun to do. So here I go. This one is an Occident Engine, issue 10. When I look through this, I think the first one is the, yeah, the first one is its own poem. There are two poems here. Alicia Burn Keen. I don't know Alicia Burn Keen at all, so I haven't read any of her work. Uh, sorry, Alicia. Uh, hopefully I'll see this. And I, I picked these at random. I just like the way this form looked when I was flipping through. Um, it's playing around a little bit in this kind of boxy space, which I like the interior lines. I like to do that myself. Frame. Difficult. Not sure how to do that. <laughs> what to come up with the title, Frame. Difficult. Um, is this a frame? Are we talking about frames? Are we prepped for a difficult frame? I'm not sure. Let's go. I'm trying to remember what. And I always look at the form of the piece, but this one uh, is clearly not in a traditional form. Uh, the line lengths are not the same, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to read it. I'm trying to remember what someone told me about White Thorn. That space right there, like the space in the middle, flowers and thresholds. Because there's something to do with white thorn about the flowers and the thresholds, like a threshold to a place. But maybe these tangled shapes aren't white thorn. Our introducing uh, uncertainty into our poetic field here aren't white thorn, and maybe this isn't a threshold. Yes, maybe it's just a poem. Maybe it's not a threshold into something. Who knows? Or the place we're at is not a threshold and not white thorn. This field corner. I like the space there. It works well. This field corner, like a scratched photograph. Like this field corner, like the field of the poem. This is supposed to be like field poetics in, in English, or it could be something else going on here. It's field corner, like a scratched photograph. Um, now we've pulled out to a different layer. Maybe it's not even just that we've misidentified the threshold and the flower, but we might be looking at this scratched photograph. Overcast dust dividing. A nice D sounds there itself into particles. The twigs are nothing like a, a whitening seam. That's a cool image, like a whitening theme. The twigs, like a seam, like a seam in the photograph, like a seam in the poem. Um, like the lines you draw to tether. And there's a line playing off the lines of the poem to tether. Our constellations scatter back together. The constellation scatter back together like the constellation of ideas in a poem that would pull it back together a seam or would help you look at the image all unified the flowers are already softening themselves in the blur of any picture i would take <laughs> i love this layering here so it's fun it was we have the white thorn in the beginning which might not actually be white thorn and now we have the scratch photograph and then this picture if had it been taken by this person is already blurring out the flowers they are in the category things that make you feel like you can't see too well points of dispersal i feel that's going on all throughout this point this per points of dispersal for the idea we're following an idea and it's dispersing so it's starting to look um blurry as it is but that's part of the joy of this and above everything is lightning into area of escape on the brow of the hill there's a clutch of wooden structures it's like we're going somewhere else now dolmen shaped each a little trinity of things holding each other up oh that feels like so much of the poem here is like that this is the little trinities that happen all throughout the poem um, help hold its structure together and I know they are stencils, or that isn't the right word. Scaffolds of some sort, there we go. Right, what I was just thinking um, that she was going on. That's the first part, scaffold. Um, the wooden structures are holding things up and helping them grow, which is kind of like what's happening in this poem. 
but with blue light diffusing through their absence. There is something of the graveyard, isn't there? The stifled angle. We have this image of the graveyard thrown at the end. The blue light diffusing through their absence all throughout it. Ah, this is this is a fun little point. I like the way it, it plays around and jumps around and takes you on this kind of journey that scatters, that diffracts all over the place. So you, you fall in and it's like, you know, um, we're trying to follow the light through a prism and it shifts out on the other side. That's kind of fun, fun to play with here. I'll have to look at more of her work. There's a little, little statement about her at the bottom here uh, from Dublin. Now uh, working on Irish Research Council study, yeah, duh. fun. Um, has worked on translation of the work of Beckett or Kami. That's fun. Um, interesting, interesting stuff. Definitely worth a look.